Hello everyone, I am Emre. I am a doctoral researcher in University of Luxembourg. I prepared a video series about how to use machine learning in your research project. Today, so many researchers try to use machine learning in their projects, not only in computer science, but also in all engineering fields, social science, economy, psychology, neuroscience. So many researchers try to use machine learning. And if you want to use machine learning, but you don't know the fundamentals of machine learning, don't worry because in this comprehensive video series, we will see the fundamentals of machine learning and also you will see end-to-end -end machine learning project. Specifically, it will be phishing detection problem. Now, let's see the content. Okay, let's start. Uh, I divided the video series into two parts. In first part, you will learn the fundamentals of machine learning. In second part, we will see end-to-end -end machine learning project with all important phases. Specifically, it will be machine learning based phishing detection project. In other words, classification project. We will start from zero, then build the project step by step. I will use Python and PyCharm for the experimental part. If you know fundamentals of machine learning very well and just want to learn the implementation part, you can directly go to the second part. However, if there are unclear points in your mind about the fundamentals, I strongly recommend the first part for you. Okay, now let's see the outline of the first part. First of all, you will learn what is machine learning and what is not. What is the difference between machine learning based approach and the traditional ones? After understanding, uh, what machine learning is, we will see some application examples to understand the current capabilities of machine learning. Also, maybe you can inspire from these applications. Then I will explain all machine learning types including supervised learning, unsupervised learning, or online learning, etc. At this point, you will start to feel confident about the machine learning and understand the main idea behind it. Uh, of course, like in everything, there are some challenges in machine learning field. We will see them and also we will see solution proposals for these challenges. And finally, we will see machine learning performance measures and you will learn how to evaluate machine learning based models. Before starting an end machine learning project, I added some questions to challenge yourself and uh, evaluate your understanding of machine learning level. After all, you will learn fundamentals of machine learning and start to think how you can implement this knowledge to your research, to your project. Okay then. Now I want to ask some questions and you will be able to answer all, of the, uh, all these questions after the video series, but how about now? Try to challenge yourself. Then you can make before after for you. In my opinion, you shouldn't start the experimental part if you cannot answer these questions because they are basic questions about the fundamentals of machine learning. For example, the first one, what is machine learning? What is not? Uh, when should we use machine learning? Which data type can be used in machine learning? Image, text data or all? For example, can you give an example for each data type? What are the machine learning types? For instance, uh, do you know online learning, unsupervised learning, or let's assume that uh, I have an unnamed data set. So which machine learning type is suitable for me? And what are the common machine learning algorithms? What are the machine learning classification algorithms? What are the challenges in machine learning? For example, do you know overfitting, underfitting, or how can you test your machine learning model? How can you uh, evaluate your performance? What is confusion matrix? Can you define the precision recall measures? Do you know what is true positive, for example, or what is cross validation? As I said, you will be able to answer all these questions after the first part. Lastly, I want to say that these are the main source books for the first part and both of them are quite beneficial and well organized, especially the first one, Hands-on Machine Learning uh, with Scikit-Learn Keras and TensorFlow 2nd edition. This book contains 
uh, code examples. They are very comprehensive and there are different data sets and projects. So uh, it is quite beneficial. And the second one also less than 150 pages and you can read both of them. Okay, let's start with what is machine learning section. 